Today I want to offer you a simple reflection from the first reading. And I want to draw a comparison between the high priests and the apostles, because each group seems to offer us a very different attitude when it comes to the spiritual life. They seem to be completely opposite in their attitude towards the spiritual life. Think about the high priests. It seems to me like they are receiving a um, considerable amount of evidence that the resurrection of Christ is true. For example, the high priests, they knew that the tomb was empty. They knew and they heard that Peter and John, Peter, had cured a man who was um, sick from birth. He had been for 40 years incapable of walking, and they heard that Peter had healed this person in the name of Jesus Christ. They put Peter and the disciples to jail, and they heard today that they, in an impossible way to explain, they were freed from jail and they were preaching. So, empty tomb, healing of a limb or a man incapable of walking from his birth. Now they freed themselves from jail. The evidence piles up, but the high priest, instead of allowing this evidence to touch their lives and come to a conversion, they are stubborn in their position and incapable of changing. And when they, when they hear that the disciples are again preaching, they want to incarcerate them again. So when I see the high priest, they seem to be an image of stubbornness and an image of being incapable of change. Now let's look at the disciples on the other hand. The disciples seem to be an example of docility and an example of swift to act. Look at the beautiful words of today's first reading. It says that when they were freed by the angel that allowed them to leave jail, before dawn, they were already in the temple preaching. They didn't say, okay, I'm going to take a nap, and then I'm going to go to preach. We've had a difficult night in prison. We need to rest. It's like the, the disciples are all swift to do God's will. And this makes me think that the whole Easter season has something to do with swiftness. Think about it. Mary Magdalene, Sunday morning, she goes to the tomb. She sees the tomb empty. What does she do? She, do? she goes running to Peter and John. When Peter and John get the news, do they walk to the tomb? They run to the tomb, right? Today, the apostles hear the command, you got to go and preach. What do they do? They go swiftly to the temple. So two different attitudes. The attitude of the high priest, incapable of change, stubborn. The attitude of the disciples, swiftness, always willing to do God's will fast. How can we bring this to our own life? And, this, and with this, I finish my homily. I think we have to ask ourselves, who do I look more alike? To the high priest or to the disciples? Am I a person incapable of change, stubborn in my own ways, mm, petrified in my own way of being, incapable of, of incorporating evidence of what God is calling me to do? Or am I swift like the disciples, swift like Mary Magdalene, quick like Peter and John to run to the tomb. So today, I think in this Holy Mass, we could pray to the Lord and we could ask Him, Lord, in, the, in, the, in this Easter, grant me swiftness to do Your will. Grant me agility to be available to You. Grant me to be free and capable of responding to Your call in a swift manner, in the same way that today the disciples were in the temple before dawn. They didn't delay their response. We could ask the Lord today, Lord, grant us heart restless to do your will.